good morning. I've got you over here in my garden. And I am going to dig up the perfect social distance food. Now, this garden looks kind of dead. Uh, and you would be sort of right, but it's not really. It is deceptive. That's good. Right here, you're gonna find a lot. You can see, you can see these stalks right here? Okay, here we go. Can you see those right here, these? Yeah, let me get a handful and I'll bring them over. Okay, so that, that, that. Ooh, here's some more, jackpot. Jackpot, right here. Our Jerusalem artichokes and they're the perfect social distance food because they have a lot of what's known as resistant starch which is the same thing that you can find in beans which has given them the cute nickname Jerusalem artichokes which is of course the reason they're perfect social distance food I'm gonna dig up a few more and then we're going to clean them up. We're going to eat them. All right, let me dig just a few more. Ah. <laughs> Stay right there. Good artichokes. Now these things will take over your garden. All right, so we are busy washing our Jerusalem artichokes. This is what they look like when they're nice and clean. They're still very interesting shapes, but they do look a lot like um, ginger, don't they? But they don't taste like ginger. What they taste like is a potato. And um, we were talking before about how these have resistant starch, kind of like how beans have resistant starch. And that's what, uh, <laughs> That, that's what gives you the gas, makes them the Jerusalem fartichokes. But that resistant starch also is what makes them to be um, excellent for people who have diabetes or hypoglycemia because that resistant starch um, is low on the glycemic index. It doesn't spike your insulin. So if you're a diabetic and you can't have too many potatoes, these would be a great alternative and a lot healthier too. They have, um, they're rich in inulin. Um, inulin is, uh, if you were to read the label of a package of Benefiber, people like take this kind of fiber as a supplement. So it's pretty good for you. Also, it's really good for your immunity because this, this um, resistant starch ferments in your colon and it actually helps to feed some of the friendly bacteria that lives in there and it helps with your immunity. I'm gonna have to trim these a little bit later. Oh, there's a big one. Look at that. Look at the shape of that one. This looks like a Loch Ness Monster kind of Jerusalem artichoke. But uh, they're not actually artichokes at all. They're actually, um, they belong to the sunflower family. These, the other name for these are actually sunchokes. And uh, sunflowers are great plants. And not only are they beautiful and useful, but they also can be used for soil remediation. If you had some land that was polluted and you wanted to clean up the soil, you can plant uh, plants that are in the sunflower family, such as Jerusalem artichokes, and it will help to clean the soil. I wouldn't eat anything that I was planting for soil remediation, of course. Oh, they are very, very hardy. Um, you can plant them, and 
it, it, you will never get rid of them. So make sure that you put them in a spot that uh, you don't want to plant something else a few years down the road because it's not going to happen. They're great for containers. You can hear my chickens in the background, I'm sorry. They're very proud of whatever egg they just laid. But anyway, you really don't have to do anything for you. You don't have to weed them. You don't have to take care of them in any way. They thrive on neglect. Um, and they'll just take over. So they're the, the perfect plant for me. I'm really good at taking care of animals, but my husband is really the person who's good at plants. I try. I like plants. Just I'm not very, very good at them. Hi, Juggy, who's a good boy. That one is starting to sprout, so pretty soon. And it's amazing how fast that they grow. By fall, <coughs> I am not exaggerating, they are up to the roof on my garage. That's how tall they are, because they're like my side garden. Okay, I'm gonna bring these inside, okay? I'm gonna give them one last good rinse in my, uh, got the big stuff off of them out here. I'll finish washing them up inside and then later on we will cook these up and we'll eat them and we'll stay a nice safe social distance away. <laughs>